Well, two men were arrested on drug charges over the weekend, and a press release states the drugs were bound for Mammoth Lakes. Last Saturday at approximately 7.30 a.m., Mono County Sheriff's deputies conducted a traffic stop on a vehicle traveling southbound on Highway 395 near State Route 108 and Fail Hot Springs. Now, the press release from the Mono County Sheriff's Office states that Burton Cortez Guzman, age 27, of Reedley, and Jose Becerra Cortez, age 18, also of Reedley, were stopped by Mono County Sheriff's deputies on 395. When the driver, Cortez Guzman, was asked for his driver's license, he provided deputies with his Mexican consulate card, as he did not have a California driver's license. Cortez Guzman and Becerra Cortez were asked to exit the vehicle and upon a vehicle search, a medium sized black and blue nylon case was located in the center console of the vehicle. Deputies became suspicious and called for the narcotics detection canine. Canine Tara alerted to the exterior of the vehicle and once deployed inside the vehicle, she alerted to that center console compartment and revealed methamphetamine. Inside the nylon bag were 26 individually wrapped plastic baggies containing methamphetamine. Now, the press release states after further investigation, it was determined that Cortez Guzman and Becerra Cortez were traveling from Reedley to Mammoth Lakes to meet a buyer and sell the prepackaged methamphetamine. Becerra Cortez, was, age 18, was arrested for possession of a controlled substance for sale and transportation of a controlled substance. Cortez Guzman, age 27, was arrested for driving without a license, possession of a controlled substance, possession of a controlled substance for sale, and transportation of a controlled substance. Cortez Guzman was in custody at the Mono County Jail in Bridgeport. All charges pending with the Mono County District Attorney's Office. Well, last week, a meet and greet fundraiser was held for Eastside Canine Avalanche Dogs, and this was held at the Weston in Mammoth Lakes, getting information that over $1,000 was raised for Eastside Canines, and over 100 guests and locals came by to meet Atlas and Duke. Look at those good looking dogs. Also, it was a big hit with the Weston kids as well. Nice job there by a lot of folks helping out Eastside Canine. Well, we're going to have an encore presentation of the following story. This is a great community event coming up in Mammoth Lakes this Friday. It's the food, toy, and clothing drive and the town tree lighting ceremony. So on December 5th, uh, Friday, December 5th, the town would like to invite the entire community uh, to the enhanced Town of Mammoth Lakes official tree lighting ceremony, uh, which takes place in the Footloose Sports parking lot. But also from noon to 6 p.m., we'd like to invite the community to give what they can to those less fortunate during this festive season at the community food, toy and clothing drive taking place at the old Bank of America building again from noon to 6 p.m. on Friday, December 5th. So this is a, a generational event. Uh, we host this every year. We kick off at around 5.30. We have festive music. We have uh, hot chocolate for sale by local nonprofit organizations, the Leo's Club, Mammoth Youth Football, sell some snacks and hot beverages as well. Uh, the Mammoth High School Boosters will be selling Christmas trees, so if you want to come along and buy an early Christmas tree and start decorating. Uh, we also uh, kick off the season uh, by Mayor Joe Bacon. We'll welcome in uh, our holiday season. Uh, we'll officially turn on the light. We do a little countdown with Santa, uh, who arrives compliments of the Mammoth Lakes Fire Protection District. Um, so roughly kind of midway through the proceedings. And then we also have Wooly come down from the mountain and join us. Um, and you're both and all the kids are able to um, take their photos with Wooly and Santa uh, throughout that evening as well. So it's a great, uh, a great holiday event. Yeah, so this is the first year. Um, thanks to uh, Footloose Sports and Andrea uh, came forward and kind of uh, encourage the community to kind of, uh, you know, kick off the festive season uh, in a more giving way than what we've kind of done in the past. So, um, so the town in partnership with Footloose Sports, Mammoth Fun Shop, Mammoth Lakes Chamber of Commerce, uh, Inno Mono Advocates for Community Action, which is a marker, uh, the Angel Giving Tree, Salvation Army, uh, Mammoth Lakes Fire Protection District and the town um, are all kicking off um, this great event to, uh, to really um, encourage the community to donate uh, any unexpired food items that they have, uh, well-loved, well-used clothing um, that will go directly to those folks in need, uh, and also for toys. So if you have any unwrapped toys, you can head to the Mammoth Fun Shop uh, from noon that day till they close, which I think is at 8 o'clock. 
Um, and then the Mammoth Fun Shop will also give those uh, patrons 30% discount on any of those items that would donate to uh, the Angel Giving Tree and also a 10% discount on any other uh, Christmas items they'd like to purchase. Absolutely, the Angel Giving Tree program is what we're supporting this year. We feel really fortunate to be involved with this. We're a location for drop-offs and there are tags um, on the Angel Giving Tree at Vons that explain the program and uh, who is involved. So there'll be a child's name and age and what they're looking for. If you want to get your gifts here for them, um, we offer 30% off that item and then we collect it here since we're a drop off. But you can also bring any item by um, and on that transaction we give 10% off everything that you buy on that transaction just for as a thank you for being generous. We opened in April of this year and uh, Brant and I, my husband, um, own the shop together and work it together. It's locally owned and operated. Everything that's in here was decided on by me. <laughs> Basically, if it's fun, it can stay. So I like candy, I think that's fun. There is um, anything from musical instruments to souvenirs, toys, gifts. There are lots of really high quality items in here, but something that fits every budget. And we're a little mini ice cream parlor as well. So we have super premium ice cream, we make handmade malts, um, and we do whatever you want. So you let us know, I want a little bit of this, a little bit of that with free toppings, and we make it um, exactly as you want it. All winter, we'll have um, our game table and puzzle table available to you. So if it's really bad weather out there, the mountain shut down, you're thinking, what on earth are we gonna do? Come in here, be our guest, play some games, play chess, work on the puzzle, have a cup of hot chocolate or a warm coffee, and stay a while. Uh, from noon until eight is the kind of toy drive, and then from noon until six is the food and clothing drive at the old Bank of America building. You probably don't even have to leave your car. <laughs> you can just drive into the old Bank of America building. Uh, we'll have town staff, volunteers, uh, everybody from those local agencies there to, um, to take those donations. We have all those uh, donation boxes. And then hopefully we'll be able to give a little bit uh, in return to those uh, donating uh, for the holiday season. So super easy. Uh, old Bank of America building, noon to six. Just drive by and we'll collect everything and anything uh, that our community would like to give. Oh, that's some good stuff. Hope everybody has a great time coming up this Friday. Other good stuff right here. Check this out. Ah, it's snow. It's snow at Mammoth Mountain. Good winter storm rolled through Tuesday and this morning, dumping about a foot to two feet of snow at last report at Lammoth, Mammoth Mountain. Why don't we just soak in the glorious sight of snow, snow, snow falling at Mammoth Mountain. All right, that's great. We'll come back with a weather report.